the backcountry style Searching for treasure yet untold Up and down the creeks for his gold And it's minor bust Minor bust Minor bust Because it's in his blood And that's what a miner does Just like the gold rushers of old Who live and died for their gold With picks, back shovels, rifles in hand Up and down the creeks in the backcountry land It's minor bust Minor bust, minor bust, because it's in his blood, and that's what a minor does. With another winter finally behind us, everything springs back to life. with a familiar call echoing across the land. As these woods come back to life, everything seems a little old but new. And there's little eyes everywhere. A little cub just enjoying his day. Mother is a little more aware. It's the little things in life that seem to tell you the most. Need she say any more? I don't think so. These forests sure have come back to life, but it's time for us to get moving and begin our season. Walking down our trail like we've done many times in the past, always hoping the old cabin is still standing. It's always such a great feeling to be back out on the claim. The old cabin needs a good cleaning after a long winter. Years back, we found this little old cabin, and I remember a young Josh wanting to move in and call it home, which I thought was a pretty good idea. Well, things down here are still a little wild, which makes it tough going. So I set to work on opening up a network of trails and cleaning up base camp.
just soaking wet. Uh, it's pretty muggy down in here. It was a hard job, but it had to be done. And I'm actually very happy now. I got my own private trail down into my claim. I'm absolutely drenched. I got probably 90% of my gear in here. A little harder than I was planning on. <laughs> but it's in here. I just got to hike back up that hill again. Grab my fuel and my chainsaw. And I can start clearing out camp area here. And uh, fix up this old shack. Get a roof on it. Get my beds put in there. Get my gear all stored away. and oh, I'm not looking forward to going back up that hill. Yeah, I got a couple bunks. Still got to bring in some screen. Keep the mosquitoes out. Yeah, not too bad. Could bring a little wood stove in here for uh, the cold season. A little table, a couple bunks. Best part is, there's gold all around me. Well, then we're good memories, but we'll let things air out at camp and head down to the creek to do a little padding. And speaking of memories, I think Brutus is having one himself. Just about a year ago now, young Brutus jumped headfirst into this pool, and Joshua had to pull him out. I have no idea what possessed him to jump off these rocks, but one thing I know, he sure turned out to be a good bush dog. Only Brutus will really know what he's truly thinking. First pan of the season and I found a pretty nice flake right there. good for a start. Panning along the creek for most of the day, finding gold like we've always done in the past. enough panning for the day. We head back to camp and get everything stored away. Mm. Josh is all ready for his season. Think you're going to spend your season there? Yeah. Uh, You'll find out soon enough when we get busy. <laughs> With everything stowed away, it's time for us to head out. But this trail is about to change to a thing of the past. Last season, I made an agreement with a claim neighbor to turn my old trail into a road down into this lower valley. Over 15 years ago, I set out into these hills looking for a claim worthy of mining. Seeing these machines working their way down into the valley has just pushed me 
or reminded me of my original goals. I spent enough time in these backwoods in northern British Columbia in the hunt for gold. And I just might slap myself if I don't give mining a chance. I found gold through many areas by studying the history, staking over a dozen claims and prospecting them all to determine which ones had the best value. I just can't think of a better way to spend a day than to challenge yourself out in the wilderness against nature and the elements, and with a little treasure hunt on the side. After researching the history and gaining access to the land, one should walk the forest floors and cross-reference everything he's read. Once the history in the area appears to be correct, you should look at the areas of activity, where they were mining, and where they left off. I always start sampling for gold down along the creek. You get an idea of the average sizes and other minerals in the waterway. Then begins the sampling off in the woods, looking for the old river channels and the golds it holds. It sure is a lot of work dropping these holes and wandering through these woods, but it's also a lot of fun at times. You think you have to arm wrestle for that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've done a lot of prospecting and dug a lot of holes. And I sure have enjoyed myself all these years in these woods. But things are about to change and it's about time for a new challenge. This will be the last time we head down this old trail like we've done many times in the past as we enter a new phase. Coming up upon the crest of the hill and things sure have changed. They've made their way down this slope at a pretty good rate. I don't know about Josh, but I'm getting pretty excited. Quite the road. Well, I'm happy to see that good progress is being made. But it's time for us to head on out of here. So we'll leave Steve B as he has a lot of work to get his way down into the valley. down here trying to make our way into the claim. This new road's a little steep, it's still fresh, it needs to be graded out a little bit better I would say, but uh, it's a road in here, definitely get in and out of here if the weather is good, but if you get a real good rainstorm might be a little challenging to get out of here right now. <laughs> but yeah, we'll make our way down. It's fairly dry right now. And then uh, turn around, come back up it, and see what it's like. Might end up parking up here on the top side. Better to be safe than sorry. Last thing I need is for my truck to be stuck down there. Even though I wouldn't mind staying out here for a month. <laughs> but yeah, she's looking a little sketchy. Like I say, we'll put her in four-wheel drive and uh, we'll make our way down and come back up and just see how scary this actually is. It's looking a little bit iffy for me, for my likings. But yeah. I'm already halfway down. There's no real turnaround, so I guess we're just gonna have to venture on and see what happens. Well, that's going to be no good at all. 
say one good rainstorm I'm never gonna make it up that section of hill there a little too steep for my liking maybe if I had some chains for my tires to chew your way back up Well, I sure like the new road. There's only one spot that really worries me, and that's only in a heavy rain. But we'll park the truck up top and make our way back down into the claim. Seems like I'll never get away from hiking this season anyway. Things are looking good. A little late this season getting started, but uh... I've always built my own equipment. And around five years ago, I started a little company building high bankers to pay for my prospecting. I built hundreds of these and sent them all around the world. It's always interesting to me to think of the prospector in his area and the gold they've found. Time yet. Yeah, I started a little later than I like to. Ooh. Never mind, Brutus. Yeah, I get down here and there's a couple of young fellas walking along the creek there, doing a little claim jumping. <laughs> Yeah, it does look like rain's coming in. It's probably, probably a pretty good idea. I never drove the truck all the way down into here and left it. See, I don't think I would have made it up that hill. It wasn't looking too good. <laughs> well, that's just the beginning to the road. Still lots of work to go on it yet. Eventually, we'll get it in a little bit better and uh, We'll get things happening down here, open things up next year. Oh, let's go do a little bushwhacking. Seems to be one of the hardest jobs being a prospector is always picking out the next spot. I have quite a few places in mind. bush stomp see if we can scope out an area to start so I got lots of plans this season this back section in here I want to drop one or two up along that hill guys should drop one in tight to that hillside it's quite a steep hill but uh, see if there's any river material back in there yeah, I'd say the hardest part is picking out your spot. A lot of hand labor. You know, it's always the roughest is opening up an area, getting a trail in, getting through the roots, the top layer. See if you can find any gold. along this top check in on these uh, claim jumpers as well hopefully young Brutus doesn't give me away I'm not in the mood to be bothering with them today if there's one thing I know about a canyon yeah it does look like green's coming in you don't want to be up in it when there's rain in the forecast or there's high water. Me and my dad learned that a few years back. But I wish the best to them. The old timers trenched this out pretty good. 
We're in the front section here. We got rock piles all over. And, uh, this is the second highest elevation to the flats back here. There's one more step up that skirts along that hill. There's a nice big arc back in there. Yeah, they wouldn't have done this much work down in here. Trenching all this out, stacking these big piles of rock. Yeah, see they carved all this out. Stacked all their rocks here. So you know there was definitely gold in here, so they wouldn't have stacked all this rock there wasn't any gold. Now here's some old remnants. So here's the old track. Find sections of this throughout this area. Let's say they uh, wouldn't have went through all the work to hike in this heavy track and set it up. If there wasn't anything in the area. <laughs> Old shovel. Yeah, it goes back a few years. It's definitely not like today's shovel. Yeah, always makes you wonder who was operating this and uh, how many hours has on her. It's like they wore her out pretty good and they tried fixing her up. <laughs> yeah. If it only could tell me how much gold it found. I'll just leave that here. Yeah, like I said, I might pull a few pan samples out of here. But with this much activity, I guarantee there is gold here. We'll leave this area, like I said, for a couple pans and a, an excavator. <laughs> I'm sure these old timers would be dreaming of an excavator as well, if they knew it existed. Yeah, here's that last flat. Walk back in there, you can see a uh, river rock poking out of the side up to that next level there. Back in here is probably where I'm going to open up the last sample hole on this section of the claim. I have to pick up another 100 feet of hose though take her up into here. It's either that or pack buckets. I think it's much easier just to get another section of hose. Yeah, and then you wonder why my son didn't show up. <laughs> He's no dummy. He knows what I'm going to be up to. Nobody likes this part of it. So once an area is opened up, it's no big deal. But opening them up, it's getting a little bit old for me as well. Yeah, we'll head back to camp here. I'll have a coffee. And uh, I'll get a couple samples out of here. See if we can find a trace of gold. While we wait for coffee to brew, we might as well look for a little bit of luck. Oh, we just started getting into the good stuff. Of course, here comes the rain. Yeah, it's probably a good thing I didn't leave that truck down at the bottom of that hill. I had a feeling it was going to rain on us and uh, 
be a nightmare getting it up that steep section. Yeah, this is the uh, last sample on this side of the claim. This is that last elevation I wanted to look at. And uh, definitely finding the old river material. And this layer goes back a couple hundred feet or better into that hillside. Yeah, by looking at this, you can definitely tell this is all old river material up in here. Yeah, it's got all your fractured bedrock, rounded river rocks and everything. So we'll clean this site up a little bit more. Look for something of interest in here and we'll pull a bucket sample and pan it out, see if we can find any color. Oh, we got a bucket take down there. Just started to get this open. I don't have high hopes for the upper layer, but there should be a trace of gold. I've done this thousands and thousands of times, and it's still very interesting to me. I think it has something to do with the flash and the bottom of the pan that keeps the guy going. Oh, well, they may be small. We found color. It's like one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, better than 14 pieces in there. For uh, just hitting the surface, that's a pretty good sign. Good enough for me. Definitely answers my question. The sample proves gold, so we work through the rest of the day, moving rock after rock and pulling bucket after bucket down to the creek for a little panning. Another perfect day. Well, me and Brutus had a good day. It didn't rain too much. Okay, it's going to cloud over though, probably rain overnight. coffee. It's never a good thing. That's it. Sit down. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> yeah, me and my partner share almost everything. As long as it's good for him. He's a man of the backcountry wild. He's a man with the backcountry style. Searching for treasure yet untold. Up and down the creeks for his gold. And it's minor bust. Minor bust. Minor bust. Because it's in his blood and that's what a miner does. Just like the gold rushers of old. Who live and died for their gold. With picks, packs, shovels, rifles in hand Up and down the creeks in the backcountry land It's minor bust Minor bust Minor bust Because it's in his blood and that's what a miner does